Has your CNC also turned you into its vacuuming slave? Because this is how I've been bullied for the last couple of years. But finally, I think I found a decent fix for this problem. Who knows, maybe this helps you out as well, so I'll try to keep it brief because I know you have better things to do. So, a CNC creates a shit ton of dust. And online I see all kinds of people use these standardized dust shoes. There's a couple of things I don't like about them. For one, because of the hairs you can't see your route a bit. And I still make a lot of mistakes on my CNC. One thing I must insist on is being able to see my route a bit. That way I can check what it's doing and I see if something's going wrong. Second thing is, these things are always so chunky. Why do they have to be so big and always in the way? Over the years I designed a few different dust extractions, but they all landed in the trash because if they don't contribute to a smooth CNC workflow, then I'd rather not use them. So let me show you the design I came up with recently that so far I'm really in love with. I'm not sure how well it would work if you use it with a small dust extraction. I have a big turbine, so I'm utilizing that. Keep that in mind. And while the design is nothing super fancy, the basic principle is that I wanted to direct this inlet down around the cutter without restricting its airflow too much. And I also wanted it to be able to slide up and down easily. I know, you're gonna be skeptical now, but does it still have the performance? Trust me, I was skeptical as well. I was thinking, hmm, but it doesn't have the brushes. Is it even gonna suck? Let's do a super simple test. You can be the judge and I can finish this video. I grabbed some scrap wood, threw it on the CNC, cut out a shape. This first run is with the dust extraction on. As I couldn't really see any dust, I thought mm, maybe it just works really well because it's a pocket and not on the edge of the board. So I tested that as well. At that point I got a little bit nervous because I was thinking hmm, maybe my test just didn't create a lot of dust. And so I turned off the dust extraction and ran the same g-code again. And oh boy, was I in for a treat. If you couldn't tell yet, I absolutely love this thing. So I'm gonna share the STL files. If you want it, just print it yourself. Unfortunately, it will only work with this diameter of a spindle. But if you throw enough bricks through my window, I might help you out. Now please just have an awesome rest of the day.